Hi, my name is Walter Centeno and my presentation will be about Whoopi Wolver. I decided to talk about this woman because I consider her a successful person, outstanding actress and a mirable human being. Whoopi Wolver was born on November 13, 1955 in Manhattan, New York. She was a daughter of Emma Harris and Robert James Johnson Jr. Her original name is Karen Elaine Johnson. She has a daughter, one brother and three grandchildren. She had described her mother as a stern, strong and wise woman, who raised her as a single mother with her brother Clyde who is already dead. Her recent ancestors were from Georgia, Florida, and Virginia. Her first participation was in The Purple Color in 1985. She received an Oscar nomination for her role in this movie. Her first comedy was Burglar in 1987. Then she participated in The Telephone in 1988 and Jumping Jack in 1989. She won her first Oscar for her role in Ghost in 1990. Also, she has participated in different movies such as Sister Act 1 and Sister Act 2. She was at the, her most famous in the early 90s, making regular appearances on Star Trek The Next Generation. She is one of the most remarkable and dynamic hosts in the new show. She has been married three times. The first time was with Alvin Martin. With this man, she procreated a daughter whose name is Alex Martin. She is also an actress. This marriage lasted six years. Her second marriage was with David Klassen. This marriage lasted a year. And her third marriage was with Leigh Trastenberg. And this marriage lasted a year as well. Also, she has had different romantic partners without marriage. Based on Horney's theory, Whoopi Wolver could suffer the same psychological disorder in some ways as Marilyn Monroe, since she raised without her father's role. She was suffering of exaggerated needs for love. We can see this condition on her addiction to drugs, and also the amount of marriages that she had, not counting her romantic partner. She considered herself responsible for her three failed marriages. When she was in therapy for her addiction to drugs, she met Alvin Martin, uh, who became her first husband. This is an example of how she was looking a paternal figure in, order, in other men. She suffered of dyslexia as well. As I mentioned before, Honey's theory described Whoopi Wolver as a person with lack of paternal love. Despite her, the fact that Whoopi Wolver has been a successful person in her personal and professional life, she has always carried the problem of her childhood by not having the father image in her life. We can see that behavior when she married her therapist, Abby Martin, in an interview. She also mentioned that she was never in love with any of her former husbands. She said that some people are not meant to be married and I am not meant to. I'm sure it is wonderful for lots of people. We have to really be committed to them and I do not have that committed. I am committed to my family. I hope you guys enjoyed my presentation. Thank you for watching. See you next time. La, 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 happy day.